guys, so Slates and I have just got home um, from today's exciting adventures, which is changing your stud pattern on your rims. So check it out. The original rear end on the Brumby was 5x100 Subaru stud pattern. Uh, it was a conversion I did a long time ago. It was a disc brake rear end with a R160 diff. And if you've watched my other videos, you would have seen we've just put an R200 diff rear end in out of an Nissan Silvia, including the hubs. So now we're going to change our rims from 5x100 to 5x114. I want to keep the same rim, um, and I'm hoping that this is a cost effective way of, of doing it. We're going to go and have a chat with Magmaster and um, and see what he said. I feel like he will be able to help us out. If not, he will definitely tell us where to go. Right, so those are the two rears. Take them to Magmaster. See what he said. Okay guys, so just got down here to Magmaster, um, so uh, I'll get back to you, I'll let it, you know what he says. Uh, I spoke to him on the phone, he said it's based on the rim, so if it's a good quality rim, then we might be able to do something. So it be interesting to see what it's going to cost um, versus just getting some new wheels. Alright, so... Well, Slate. He's told us we've got to go to Gammon Engineering. And Gammon Engineering supposedly does drive shafts, so that's even better. Alrighty. So, funny way of getting in, but it's alright. We're here. Engineering. It's good to see what he has to say. Alright guys, so the plan is we're going to put inserts into the rims. We're not going to use adapters. Uh, Brett from Gammon Engineering, um, he can also do the drive shaft, so that's really good. Um, but we've got to go get the tyres taken off um, and shoot back home, get a couple of dimensions for the drive shaft. So, Hopefully um, we can get all that done today. So I've just dropped home, I've dropped the tyres off. Obviously we've got them off the wheels. Um, Cooper tyres, um, just was able to get those done for me real quick. Shot lads. Um, and I've just shot home and got um, our two drive shafts that we need to mangle into one. So um, this is out of the car, which was modified for the original back end and this is a Sylvia rear tail shaft so uh, hopefully we'll be keeping that end and the other end as well so gammon engineering do your thing can't wait All right, cool. So we've just finished here at Gammon Engineering for now. Uh, it'll be a couple of weeks wait, so, um, but yeah. Pretty excited and um, looking forward to getting my parts back. Got plenty to do in the meantime. Okay guys, so uh, we've just got back. I thought it's probably a good idea to kind of visually explain using a wheel, what's actually going to happen. Um, explain the theory. To the process all right so basically what they're doing is at the moment we've got 100 mils in between centers and um, what they're going to do is find the intersection point where each one of these would end up at 114 mil point three they then drill a 20 mil or they mill a 20 mil circle into the rim um, that's going to eat into here a little bit and then what they're going to do is 
in, use the insert, which is essentially a dowel that has a, a hole in it with an aris or a chamfer for the nut to seat on. So, and that's really all it is. Um, it's a lot more cost effective. Um, I haven't got the bill yet, so I don't know, but his estimate was essentially half the price for a new wheel. Uh, they will, we will then use hub centering rings to just make sure that everything's all good. So yeah, that's basically what it is. So can't wait to show you guys the finished product. Sh uh, shouldn't be far away. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Um, I hope you've learned a little bit. I definitely did um, throughout the process. Um, I'm looking forward in the next video, I will show you guys what they look like as a finished product. Um, and so you can see visually what we've explained. Um, and then we'll pop them on the car. Uh, we might even drop it down and roll it outside, give it a bit of a dust off. Um, give the shed a good clean out. It's been a couple of months since I've been able to move to Little Beast. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting it down and, and uh, rolling it out. Heaps of projects coming up on this and I can't wait to share them with you. So, um, uh, stay tuned and um, keep an eye out for the next one.